Daniel Burris is one of the world's leading technology forecasters and business strategists. As an expert on trends in technology-enabled innovation, he helps clients define game-changing strategies to accelerate growth by identifying technological, social, and business forces that are converging to create enormous untapped opportunities. He is the author of six books, including the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal bestseller, Flash Foresight, How to See the Invisible and Do the Impossible, as well as the international bestseller, Techno Trends. He has established a worldwide reputation for his exceptional record of accurately predicting the future of technological change and its direct impact on the business world. Let's think about it a minute. You're going to spend the rest of your life in the future. Maybe we ought to think about this. You see, I've started six companies. Three were national leaders in the first year. Uh, one of them had 37 national locations in the first year. One thing I learned is to fail fast. You see, I can't afford to fail slow. <laughs> but if you look at Kodak, you look at Blockbuster, you look at these, you know, what is going on? They did not see the future. Oh, they saw a future. Problem was... It was what I call a soft trend, something that might happen, rather than a hard trend, something that will. I want you to see that difference. You see, we live in an uncertain world right now. When are these foreclosed homes going away? When are we going to have a, you know, there's a, maybe there's a recovery on Wall Street, but there's still a recession on Main Street. I mean, when are things going to start kicking back? We, some of us, and a lot of our customers might even have a wait-and-see attitude, which is very dangerous right now. In a world of mass uncertainty, you know what I got to ask myself, what am I certain about? I got to tell you, that keynote was one of the most invigorating and exciting sessions that I've seen at a channel event in a long time. I watched a room full of a thousand people get truly fired up in the span of an hour, and that was unique. Let me ask you a question about being busy. Were the top five executives of General Motors every day for the two years before they went bankrupt, really busy. What do you think? Yeah, didn't help them, ain't going to help you either. And my worry for you is you're going to go back and get busy. But something's happening right now that's never happened before, and it's got opportunity written all over it, but it's fogged in by the news. You see, bad news sells, good news doesn't sell. And if there is no bad news, they'll give you the anniversary of bad news. <laughs> but what I want to do is to help you to see there is some amazing, unbelievable good news for us right now, for us, in new and powerful ways that we can not just add value, but create new revenue streams, not just milk the old ones. I think one of the key things that I took away from here was being in front of what my clients really need, knowing what the changes are, you know, those hard trends, and embracing those hard trends, and knowing what my clients are going to need before they know they need it. You see, you can't change the past. It's locked in. You can learn from it. I like learning from it, but you can't change it. What do you have power over, your past? No. You got power over your future, and that's the only place you got any power. So instead of having all this hindsight, and should have never sold that old Fender guitar, that 1959 Fender guitar would be worth 120,000 bucks today, but if you did, too bad. What if we had that power, but we could direct it towards the future, that predictability? So instead of having a bunch of too bad hindsights, we've got, whoa, I've actually got the power of foresight. Again, let's talk about how to do that right now. I like his positive attitude about not focusing on the negative and focusing on the trends. I, I thought that was incredible. There's a word that I have used for many decades now. It's called future view. How you view the future shapes how you act in the present and how you act in the present shapes your future. Think about it. Right now there's people that are selling Apple stock. And there's people that are buying Apple stock. What's the difference? Their future view of Apple. Right now, there are kids that are deciding to go to college and other kids are deciding to go to drugs. What's the difference? It's their future view. You see, how you view the future will shape how you act. How you act shapes your future. Your future view will determine the future you, and right now, that future view is low compared to what it needs to be based on the certainties I'm going to share with you today. 
Owning a business is very much about not uh, becoming stagnant and always thinking about you know, what your customers are going to need moving forward. And the keynote really made me think about what services I'm going to offer my customers to ensure there's that relationship moving forward. Let's just talk about change for just a minute. Most people would say humans don't like change. People don't like change. Nonsense. Humans are born loving change. Hey, babies cry until you change them. <laughs> Matter of fact, they prefer rapid change. Uh, why, do, why, do we, why do we take vacations? I need a change. I need to get out of here. In other words, not all change is negative, but everyone in this room knows there's negative change. So what in the world is the difference between positive change and negative change? I've thought about this. I know exactly what it is. Negative change is the kind of change that hits you directly and you didn't see it coming. It impacts you personally and you didn't see it coming. But I got news for you. Most of those changes were there for you to see. You were too busy to look. Change is constant. I mean, I know that's an old cliche, but I think as business owners and thought leaders and trusted advisors to our clients, that we need to be reminded of that. Always looking for what's the next thing that is going to revolutionize our business and revolutionize our clients' businesses and, and making sure that there's a synergy between what we do and what they do. Technological change is going to accelerate. Oh, yeah. We got three prime drivers, not four, not five, not ten. We got three. I call them digital accelerators. We've all heard of Moore's Law. Processing power doubles as the price drops in half. But remember, doubling doesn't create a graph that looks like this. It creates a graph that looks like, like that. Two becomes four becomes eight. No big deal in the beginning. To go from a five megahertz chip to a 500 took 20 years. To double it took eight months, and that was years ago. In other words, we are no longer in this phase. We're in the phase. Very inspiring. It's great to listen to futurists kind of talk about what we'd be thinking about and transforming our business, and uh, it really makes you think. When you go back home, you're going to get busy, but remember, busy ain't going to help you. You're going to be busy, but not full time. I want you to eke out some time to be strategic. You're going to spend the rest of your life in the future. And it's an amazing future if you have the time to think about it and make it so. So when we go back, let's make it so.